All right, what's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm gonna mess around with a little project today that I've actually been putting off and just brainstorming. I just kind of wanted to do it uh, to have fun. We're gonna use another part off of our, man, it's bright out here, uh, off of our red Ford Maverick. Um, so the deck lid that was on this thing, uh, let me flip the camera around and I'll show y'all. This thing had a lot of uh, uh, rust. So this car is pretty rusty. It's basically a parts car. We were gonna build this, possibly do like a 25.5 chassis in this car and just use the uh, the two quarters and the roof off of this car. Basically build everything else tube chassis. Still not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. As you can see, a lot of the car's gone, but um, I'm gonna attempt to do something just for fun, kind of, and just to see what I can get results out of it. So this is the hood off of the car. Um, the hood, I meant the trunk lid. This is the deck lid off the car. Um, and as you can see, the bottom side, she has rust also. So somebody, I guess, could use it, paint the top side, uh, but you're gonna rust all in the bottom side of the hood. So I'm gonna, the hood, why do I keep saying hood today? The trunk lid. So basically I consider this a uh, parts only item. So we're gonna cut this thing up, uh, see how much weight we can pull out of this thing. I'm thinking about putting aluminum across the top of it and building basically a one piece wing off the back attaching it so that we cut most of the steel out of it leave the steel the factory hood or trunk lid man I, am i ever going to get this right leave it so we can still have a factory trunk lid but uh doing a stream amount of lightning on it um, for cheap so we'll go hit the metal yard get some aluminum sheet like this some scrap aluminum uh if we if we do go through with this and um see what the res uh, results are and see how much you at your house could light an oem trunk yes you could go buy a fiberglass deck but it's lid. not like they're 20 dollars. so a lot of us are on a budget some of us have parts already laying around some of us like to create build stuff with our hands do it ourselves, and uh you know instead of just ordering a fiberglass trunk lid but i guess even if you order a fiberglass trunk lid you still gotta do the body work all the prep works and things don't ever come uh perfect but since i already own this and i would love the bragging rights of having factory uh deck lid just modified i'm up to uh see how much we can get this lightened let's throw this thing on the scale all right so here's our bathroom scale covered up with old rags so the wife don't kill me here's our trunk lid let's sit it on there and see what we got Twenty-seven point eight. Twenty-seven point eight, and all i'm doing is just free floating it 27.8 so a little shy of 28 pounds on the factory lid all right so here is what we're left with so we have cut this piece out of the center okay i'm going to tell you there's a lot of weight right there um and then we have literally just we pried it up on the edge and then we just we pulled it off so all it is is from the factory it's glued on okay so it's glued to your inner structure so it don't vibrate it's not welded it's just glued there so you can uh separate that just like a door and then we have this inner structure right here that i just come in here and cut the center out of it too because we may put an access door a panel that's the reason why we bought that one on sale let's just kind of play around with this idea and this cleans up this where this in here is nice and even all the way around this feels pretty light right now uh it feels like most of my uh weight was in the top believe it or not uh this metal is actually not thick at all really compared to that stuff so it's gonna be hard to tell with the the edges being cut let me see if i can do something stupid and use my fingers to smooth the edges out if you look at the comparison i'd have to measure it but i mean i don't know if you can tell it's just it's not this is really light so believe i was kind of surprised inner structure is really light the top of it is really freaking heavy because originally I had planned that I would cut a lot of the inner structure out to get rid of weight. But now that I'm seeing this um, and feeling it for myself, it seems like your weight is in the steel. Uh, they definitely used thicker steel back in the day to um, make it so that uh, it was stronger. And I guess didn't dent easy uh, as modern cars nowadays. So let's throw this on the scale before we brainstorm on any other weight removal. What I did is two and a half inches here four inches here and i just freehand it with my hand here um, because you don't need as much thickness here because this is bent into a 90 so there's a lot of strength uh right there already uh this right here basically what i did is i meant when i measured is i made this so that 
uh, my cuts were basically in the center of the lowest part uh, around it. So I kind of had some options because like I said, originally I was going to come in here and cut all this back too. And I, I still might do that. I just want to see where we're at. We're definitely going to cut some out the bottom side down there because it is already rusted. So we might as well clean that up, cut some out of that. Uh, but let's throw this on the, on the scale and see where we're at before we brainstorm more. All right. So our scale is off. We have our trunk lid in hand. Uh, let's put it on the scale. 18 pounds and that's not me picking up on it or anything that's 18 pounds so there's 10 pounds off of it already all right i think what we're gonna do next which is probably not even half a pound i'm sure maybe but i think we're just gonna take some more meat out of here so we'll cut this up rip this down um you still got all of these bins right here for strength so i really don't think we need these um inner bins and I don't know if I want to take any out of that because I would love to glue the new aluminum down to that. I'm almost tempted not to take it out of this, but I really feel like I will. Maybe I'll hold off for a second. All right, so what we have done is come in here with a hole saw. I just wanted to do this before I cut up much more. And we went ahead and put three big holes in each side to take out some of that meat. So let's throw it back on the scale, see how much that netted me. Uh, before I decide if I want to cut this little bit out because I got a feeling that these six holes weigh about the same as about as much material as that right there so it will get me an idea of if it's worth it or not to uh, to take that section out or if I should just keep this section so I have something to glue the aluminum to across there all right so we were at uh, 18 pounds the scale is off let's take this and let's sit this on here Okay, my hands are barely touching it. 16.8, so a little over two more pounds out of it by just doing them whole saws. Okay, so our 14 by 14 access panel, if we decide to use this and lay it on here, we'll lay it on here just to test it. So if we bring our edge right here to pretty much that, we can bring it back so that it's riding on top of uh, that edge. As you can see, these inner ones would be in the way when you open the door and you wouldn't get full potential and you would actually be pretty much mounting this thing into the original steel if we keep this much of the original steel. So with that being said, that's gonna give me the go ahead to cut all of that out because that kind of tells me that um, that right there is gonna be in the way and we might as well go ahead and cut that weight. All right, so we've now cut this piece out back to the scales let's see where we're at all right scales are black they're not on Turn these on. 14.4 that is crazy this is crazy savings i didn't expect uh it to necessarily drop that much so part of me kind of just wants to stop right here um i don't want to get so much taken out of it that it uh, becomes really flimsy because right now it is still really sturdy. Like it doesn't, oops, about to drop it. Um, it's not, it's not flimsy at all. That that structure, the way that all the bends and everything are in it, um, is still, is still really, really sturdy. Now, your edges right here, they are glued, so they're bent over and glued. So vibrations and everything without all the center in there could potentially loosen your edges up around there. Uh, you might want to clean your edges up and hit a couple of tack welds down it. Uh, I might do that uh, whenever we get to the shop. I'm not 100% sure. It's, pr it's probably glued down pretty good. It's probably best just not to disturb it. Um, but I just, I just wanted to let you know that the more you take out and the weaker you make your edges and the more it flexes, the more likely you are to loosen up the edges. Now, I kept the edges around there literally to keep the factory dimensions and i'm either going to go over top of it with aluminum and then we will clean up all the edges so it looks like a one piece or we will um, uh, do aluminum down an inset of basically set aluminum down in that area that we cut out using some uh, lips on the back side which is all aluminum using probably a panel bond method uh, which is how you can attach aluminum to steel because obviously you can't weld aluminum to steel kind of got to brainstorm that a little bit more and figure out how i want to uh, put the aluminum back on it uh, and and go from there so 
this is where we're at right now. That's pretty good weight savings. We just got to put the aluminum back on, but we will be going with lightweight, lighter weight, thinner aluminum. So um, it won't really matter. I would love to go with carbon right now, a thin carbon fiber, full sheet all the way across the top of it um, and all the way out to the wing and then finish the edges out where it still looks like all one, uh, one piece of material. But I just don't think carbon fiber is in the, in the budget right now. And if this goes successful, then we can always, you know, do another one later. Find another junkyard one that's in bad shape. And we can always do another deck lid later. Um, but I think aluminum is going to be in the budget uh, right now. And that's about it because we still have a TKM motor to pay for. I think we are going to go ahead and move forward with this at two and a half versus the four. This is two and a half. We're going to go ahead with this at two and a half. This is going to get me closer to where I can see uh, where this still is really close to the inner structure. I will show that later and we'll probably put some kind of uh, maybe expanding foam or something in there just to keep this uh, across here straight or we'll slip some aluminum up in there with a little bit of panel bond just to keep uh, that straight and add a little bit of structure back to it. Uh, we'll see how much weight this drops out. Maybe we can tip below that 14 pounds all right so we've come in here and cut that back to 2.5 so the whole border around this is 2.5 and that's probably like an inch um scales are off let's sit this on there and see where we're at see if we dip below that 14. let's see here remember what we were just at a minute ago let's see if we can reset this yeah 14.6 so 14.6 so we didn't dip below the 14 but um i mean it had to be an ounce or something so i'm get only thing i'm guessing is when i just weighed it before that and it was the 14.4 i'm guessing it was the, the scales were just non-calibrated um or just just off a touch maybe it was probably like a 14.8 or maybe even a 15 uh because we definitely just cut more metal off and didn't put metal back on so now part of me wishes i would have just kept that 2.5 you know but hey i mean every little bit of counts because you gotta you gotta think about that if you cut that strip of metal out then that's going to equal up for some material or paint that we put on you know because you're going to put stuff back on we're going to put aluminum back on we're going to put paint back on you know all that and that stuff that stuff is going to add a certain amount of weight so every little ounce that you can get off of the steel body and when we add it back, we won't get back to our original number as fast. When we take the wing off of the Maverick, not the Maverick, the Comet, when we take the, the wing and the deck lid off the Comet, um, I am going to weigh that as one complete unit. That way when we're done with this one, we can compare the, uh, the as we're sitting right now weight versus finished weight of this project. The main reason why I wanted to cut this back too, not only was the weight, was I was explaining to get in here to uh, tie this back together. As you can see now, okay, these two pieces right here are extremely close together. Okay, this really don't have no room to go down. So what we can do now is we'll be able to get in here, lift this upper up just a little, probably just put liquid nails or something in here, honestly, um, pump something in there to just kind of help bond this to that. Or if we end up setting our aluminum down in here, this now gives us a pocket to slide our new aluminum in with panel bond to build our lip to do our new uh, our aluminum down to it. So same thing with under here is we'll be able to slip it under here and then we'd have to panel bond to the bottom side of all of this to create a lip. If we decide to go that route, um, I'd pretty much need aluminum about the same thickness and then we would have to uh, make sure we get panel bond between these two joints because aluminum is still expands and contracts at different rates. Um, so we want to make sure that as it expands and contracts and stuff like that, uh, we don't develop an outline of a crack. So this would definitely be a slow process on the paint body side because we need to get this joint right. And then we need to make sure all of our products and our primers, all of our shrink backs are on point because uh, if as things shrink back and tighten up, we went over in other videos, you'll definitely see that uh, border around there. Um, and we're going to try our best to avoid that where it all looks like, you know, one piece. The only thing about that is if we do um, the where we set aluminum in here, 
that we actually sit it down where it's the same height as this, then we can't really go on out with a one piece wing because then we would have to cut this off and then we would lose some, uh, definitely lose some strength right here. This 90 right here is an extreme uh, amount of strength to it. And all these 90s in here are strength. You get your strength from your 90 degree bends. Uh, anytime metal has a bend or corner or anything, that's gonna be way stronger than a flat. So I would love to keep that. That's the reason why my original plan was just to take one big sheet and go over the whole thing and just clean up the edges. Then we also won't have to worry about shrink back or anything. So that might be our, our best bet. And then we would still push the center down and we would still go over top of these, you know, glue it down to this to help it stick or at least liquid nails or, or, or something. We would do something to attach it, uh, but keep in mind, you know, or be weight conscious at the same time. Uh, I'm almost curious. Let's see this on bolts actually right here. So let's see if this plate is welded to it or if it's just bolted. If it's bolted, let's take these bolts out. Um, we'll dispose of this plate. We'll weigh this again, see where we're at. And then we can just put nut certs in here, which would be way lightweight to uh, put the uh, attachments back on. So let's pull that plate. All right, so I guess that piece did have, oh, that's hot. It did have some spot welds in it. I just was not seeing them. So I'm guessing there's probably some on the other side, but that hole is not perfectly centered. Um, I'm guessing there's some spot welds on the other side I can't see, but at least went ahead and took out half the bracket. I just don't see no freaking spot. Oh, no, I think right there. I think I see a spot weld right there. And that means it's, yep, it looks like right there. There's gonna be one. Uh, but these are not perfectly centered. So that means if I put my nuts in, well, no, I guess I'd still be okay. So I need to really drill these spot welds out. Get this bracket out of here. Battery, my battery and my drill needs to charge too. Let's just go ahead and weigh it. Now I took half the bracket out. And then I'll come back later and probably drill uh, this, get the rest of this, the other half of this bracket out and put nut certs in that. And we may also be getting to a point where this is so light that uh, that scale can't really uh, calibrate or weigh it accurately because that is for a scale for like you to stand on. So that's saying 13.4 and as you can see, my hand is flat footed. I'll take it off for a second. It doesn't really change 13.4. Let's take it off completely. Let's scoot it over, put it back on. It's saying 13.4 again. My hands is just floating. Let's take it off, move it over here. 13.4. Let's take it off, put it at an angle. 13.4. So I think it's pretty safe to say that this thing right now weighs 13 pounds, four ounces. So one of the other 14 measurements definitely was not right. Um, but that's not bad when we started out at what, 28.8, 28.9? And we're still gonna take off a little in here. I'm just probably gonna do this at the shop because I'll probably weld, uh, tack weld maybe another plate in here or something in the center and then probably take a lot of this rust out of here, but something to keep the distance from here to here correct. So that's gonna be a wrap for this afternoon. We're losing daylight quick and uh, it's time to clean up, got it. And I'm sure somebody's gonna get on me about the bracket and the, the bolt, I'm pretty sure let's step on this. That this scale is not going to register that bracket at all because it's going to be too lightweight um, but it, i mean it can't weigh much so we can round it back up and say uh 14 pounds if you want to add back to that bracket somebody's probably also asking uh how much did this piece of metal weigh in alone because we did pull that inner structure out with this metal at the same time when we weighed it so let's stand on it get it to zero out it's at zero let's sit this piece on there 9.6 9.6 so there's almost your 10 pounds right there in just your sheet metal